Debbie rapidly strengthened into a hurricane, hours before it was expected to make landfall over Florida's Big Bend coast. It will bring potentially catastrophic flooding and heavy rainfall to the southeast region this week, forecasters said. Officials in Florida, Georgia and South Carolina activated emergency resources, opened temporary shelters and urged residents of low-lying coastal areas in the storm's path to evacuate, as Debbie was expected to bring a life-threatening storm surge. I think what's going to make this much different than what we had with Adalia is it is going to move very slowly once it enters Florida, it's going to be southern Georgia, northern Florida, and it is just going to drop an inordinate amount of water on the north-central Florida region, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis told Fox Weather. DeSantis activated about 3,000 members of the state National Guard to help respond to the storm. Fifteen counties issued voluntary or mandatory evacuation orders covering thousands of residents where storm surge and major flooding was expected. The center of Hurricane Debbie is situated in the eastern Gulf of Mexico just west of the Florida Peninsula. Flooding rain, strong wind and storm surge are already being seen across the Sunshine State ahead of Debbie's landfall. Several feet of storm surge and hurricane force winds are forecast to pummel Florida as the storm moves inland. More than 100,000 homes and businesses are without power across Florida as Debbie's hurricane force winds begin to batter the state. The majority of outages are in north central Florida, including Levy and Sewanee counties. No, I laid them in there so the pool didn't fly away. I'm